what do I want to do? And aside from that, what subject am I good at? If I'm good at literature, I'm good at government, I'm too good at literature, government, English, so I'll be better good at being an art student, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, because I've written church girls, I've written things for the past, I've written no longer at I've written all those books written by what the tires of Brother Jero, all those books written by what the should have read. But I'll be better good at being an ask. But if I know commerce, then I know economics. And I know some bit of mathematics. I'll rather be a one. It's basic. Those are, so those are elementary and basic facts. So you don't need God to come and say, oh, this is where your child. So you as a parent, if your child brings the result and you see that your child understanding mathematics no chemistry very well physics and they're saying i want you to be a lawyer you can see there's a problem from there am i communicating and you see that your child does debates very well your child does good at debating they want to draw that child talks and debates very well and your child do some of these things very well and if you put argument sound in english and talk that child will do very well in being an student. it's very clear it's basic if your child, you know, you know, when you see results, and you see that your child cannot solve mathematics very well, or you see that your child, when it comes to mathematics, calculations, this child is very, very sound. Makes A calculation, but struggles with English. You see the result that is poor, struggles with English. And you are saying, go and be a lawyer. You know, there is a mismatch. So that child will never be in the sciences, because science is all about they are basically two calculations in chemistry. Of course, physics is all about calculation. When you do physics, it's all about calculation. Chemistry, there are two calculations. But you know, you know, science is all about calculations. And so that child fits it more. Praise God. Now, away from that. Now, my point this morning is that, and just to go through the point, is for us to have any career, there is a basic minimum standard, which is a false. How many of you are good? In Nigeria today, the basic minimum, minimum worst case scenario is for you to have what? A first degree. The first degree to anybody can either be a HMT or what? A BSc as a case may be. Even though I have preference, I'm being honest, I'm saying my mind. Even though as a person I have preference. And if I will open up my preference will be for you to have a degree. You know why? to differ some issues like if you do your HMT, there will be a need for a postgraduate degree for you to do your masters you know there's this little two in GCR there so if i finish HMT and she has a first degree, it's clear it is reality and not so and she finishes a first degree if she wants to do her masters there's a need for her to do another one year program which is a postgraduate diploma, PGT, before she can be admitted to the master's program. Correct. But I can go into my master's program directly with my first degree. No issues. But because of the Nigerian situation, the university will compare her to do another one year to be admitted to the master's program. So I would rather advise no sentiment, I'm not killing one for the other, I'm not being sentimental. But I'm saying to avoid all these delays, so why don't you go in for direct? Am I complicated? Like I said, I really want to be very explicit, explicit and pragmatic. I, as a person, I will say some personal examples just so that we learn. Not because I want to be boastful, but for me to really come out and say the way it is. I, first of all, gain admission to the Polytechnic. So I did National Diploma for two years. I said, my brother Thomas, we cost me We are even, we stayed in the same hostel there, back then. But after my national diploma, I took that because I had a good grade. So I took direct entry to university to study for my degree. So I didn't go for a Because I already don't want to go into all that. So I'm saying this so even if you've done that, yes, you can get that equilibrate, make it to pre wrong and also be at par. But my point now is the basic that is required is for you to earn the first degree. Yes, good for you if you can be good credit in the first degree. Good for you. That's even if you want to degree, of course, we all know that there are classes. You can make the first class 
if you have been praying. God helps you so much. I don't know if I believe that first class is praying. I'm not a person. I believe it's because somebody showed me that it's praying. Somebody very close to me read it. And I shared the very first class of the last of the time. Do it. First class for me, first class of the last day, the first class of the time. She was the best in her heart. So it's very good. Very, somebody very close to me. And maybe for a few of us that made a second class of power, that is not so bad. So a second class of power is not so bad. I might complicate it, but let us keep it that way. <laughs> Praise God. Yes. A second class, yes. If you are pretty good at the first class, we will celebrate with joy. I know Pastor will celebrate Let's start for Pastor. If the student in this church comes to this and say, Pastor, I made the first class. Pass on the jump. Again, I also be happy. Yes, we will, we will celebrate. And that, that has been a challenge. I remember my second brother said said that we make second class for power. We are looking for a youth that will challenge us and make the first class. Praise God. But again, if you can't make the second class of power, make the second class global. Or keep it at that for reasons because of the labor market. But again, grace still abound. And I pray God will help us in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. yes. What role does education play? If you now so wish, now listen to this part. This is the confusing part. And I really want to explain and educate us properly. This is my opinion. And I'm being very my opinion. And yet I'm saying again, I am not seeing myself as a preacher. I see it as an opportunity for people to say. So they tell us what you have done. I'm seeing another opportunity. I'm not preaching. Now, this is my opinion. My opinion is this. I'm saying it because of the present economy, because of the present home in Nigeria, because of the present situation and the society we live in and people around us. Our advice. That after your first degree, our advice. If for any reason, unless you have parents that have the financial way without to support you, after your first degree, before you start going on to pick other degrees for the education, get a job first. My advice. Praise God. Hallelujah. My advice. Well, that's what I mean. You know why? In the present situation and economy, most of them expect a lot of education. So you don't want to drop out of the university and tell them to bring money for another course or for a, a, a postgraduate degree. You know you are putting more money on them. Your sibling is still need to go to school. But then if they have the money, don't get me wrong, and they say, oh, you see parents that maybe their children finish school. They say, oh, go ahead and if they have the money, it's fine. I don't have a problem. But because of the current situation, our advice the rate of time of us did something. Start doing it. The salary may be small. Look at it. The salary may be small. But pick it up. Start doing it. Be a profession based on what you study. Be a career. You know, even when I said this school in your mind, when like that art class, when that science class, when that commercial class, you have something in your mind. You have a little idol in your mind that you are not seeing. Am I right? It's natural. This is what I want to do. Oh, I want to do this secondary school and go to study this course with the basket because I want to become a door yeah, It is normal. Do you get it? So, and you begin to put effort to literature, you begin to put effort in your government, you begin to put, you begin to put your effort in your English, which is fine. So, but then you go to that university and you jump out of the university. Now, look for a law firm to attach you. So that should not be oh I've entered LNP and I want to do LNN straight up. That LNN will not be useful because you don't have a job. You know, most and I want to say this about postgraduate degrees. Hear me very well. Hear me very well. Postgraduate degrees should not be used for show off. It's not a degree, and in this current economy, it's not a degree you just go to acquire because you want to say I have a master's. You know there's a problem. You have a master's, but that master's cannot put food on your family. 
You have a job totally free. It's not bringing any money. It doesn't make sense. You can't even tell me that you have it. So the first thing is after the first decree, get something to God said to Moses. What is here? What is it that you have in your hand? What do you have in your hand? So that thing you have in your hand is what I want to start with. Praise God. So my personal experience when I left university, luckily for me, I joined a supposed big company. I was working. And maybe by the grace of God, I had bosses. I started working on it. I was making money. I wasn't relying on my pay. I was sending money to my pay rent. Do you get it? I'm compensating them for all the effort. And I had all, all two I had in my hand. And luckily I had bosses that I said, oh boy. Go back. So why I was working, I then decided to enroll for both professional. I was spending on my professional courses and spending on my postgraduate degree from my salary. There's a portion that was going to all those things. I wasn't calling my mom again to sell a uh, Eronota. I'm putting pressure on them. Am I communicating? I wasn't doing that. So I was also sending them some money, and part of it I was putting them in my education. And you know why? Because I know I now have a career that I need to work on, build, and I've seen that my bosses that are ahead of me are well treated and are earning far, far more than I do. And you know why? In the Career part, there is a tactic part and there's a strategy part. I'll tell you. Tactics are the junior staff, they are the ones that do the grand work, they are the ones that do the dirty job. My uncle sent me this. I'm going to see them. I want to pay one. You do all those ones. There's a level you do all that. That is the tactics part, where you are the one doing the dirty job. Maybe you are a procurement officer, you are sending you to Alaba market to get things. They are sending to do a market to get things. Yes, and look at the bosses that they are the one earning the millions, but they are the one also in the AC enjoying and taking on the money. You know what they do? You know the difference between you and them? Am I complicated? They are doing more of strategy. That's the difference. You also get to that part. Now, before you get to that part, you need education and you need experience to take you to that level. When you see that senior manager, GM, you know, director, whatever they want to be, you give it. So there's a part. So you should learn that there are roles to it. So what you need to do, you now start you equipping yourself with the, risk, with the basic certifications, basic education, and the experience to get to that level where they are. So what you have enjoyed was, am I complicated? But it takes years to get to it. Now, don't be deceived. I want to say this. You know, don't be deceived. That even though it's right, that it's until you do business that you are very rich. Don't be deceived. It is right, but don't have that. It is, I've seen people, because I know, I've seen people that are, they, have, they, they never open any office. They are career people, but they are very wealthy. They earn millions on the monthly basis, benefit millions. But I, but myself and Brother Francis, one day we were, we were together, and somebody came with a brand new game. And that person they targeted, he told me, I won't mention the company, that this person is the chief financial officer of this company. The end time they do, they give this person on a monthly basis to be done like that. Air time to be boss. So, and there are companies like that. There are companies. You don't need to, before, because you are grown from that to that age, there are companies who work on and change your path every two, two years. I know somebody, somebody I know, when you go to their house in Banana, they are not, they are not, they, they, they are working for the multinational. You see cars, parts, the most company have been there for years, they cover them up. You see, you 
be nothing like the thief in their compound. And they need a paramount. They are the war, they are senior people in the multinational company. They never opened a shop before. So it's possible you do a career and you grow to that level. I pray God will grow us to that level. Yeah. So don't say, I'm just, you see, I'm, I'm diverting our mind from some beliefs. So that people that work in companies, they take you abroad, but they, they, they are working and they take that into over 50 countries. It's the company that is taking them. Not them. It's probably the work that is taking them, taking them up in the different countries. So we told you we can't have people like that in this country. So think of any company that you know, any company that you know of. Those who think they are church members of the church, they are members of the church. You don't think so? Yeah. Eh? You don't think so? That they attend a church like us. Oh, oh, you don't know. They attend a church like us. When you see that, winners is saying they want to be so so or tutorial. You see the people that do their money is business school. They are talented of big ones, multinationals. And are earning so very fast. They are people that earn five million in a month. That's the salary. They pay them that money. Three million. That's what they pay them. So if they earn five million, which business do you want to go and start and see? You'll be thinking of oh, your security, this rule. You just pay your office and earn money. And travel abroad from all the expenses paid. The government gives it the house, they do that. Praise God. So I'm saying this so that we yes. Like I told us pieces to I'm not against it. Somebody will come and tell us all this. But I'm just telling us that for the purpose of career, you know, we are Jews. And we are trying as much as possible. To open our mind to certain things we don't know. I have a younger sister, and I said I'll be very practical. I have a younger sister when I started working, I felt like she should have the kind of education I have for my feeling. And I spent money on her to go to school. She became a graduate. But my sister decided to own a shop and be said, That's her choice, isn't it? And she said she wanted to do this. I must that I regret that that money I spent in that way. I should have gone to the use that money to open that job. Listen to me. I should have gone to the goal. Praise God. So, in my mind, because I felt bad, I had to spend money and she, she gave me that. But in my mind, I was like, if this lady now become an Yadokan, so why not buy that all this money? And need to have old car buy own that shop. But that's what you know, so you know the mindset of people that go oh, only when I do this, I will become very, very rich. And that's why we are saying that what is the will of God for your world, for your life. You need to see when you don't have this one, that's the Bible says that people pay because what? They are praise God. Now, I pray, I, I will try to pass so that. I don't disappoint my people. I have a lot in my mind that I want to see. Praise God. Now, when we talk about decrees, like I said, just don't do these programs for sure. You are not competing with anybody. Eh? You are not competing with anybody. I don't want to come and say I have a master's degree because I know that uh, Pastor Tunde does not have, so Pastor Tunde needs to respect you. No. The question is that what do you that you are doing it? What do you want to achieve that you are doing? What is the benefit of the certification eh, that you want to do? The master student you want to do? What is the benefit to you? Am, am I complicated? So why do you want to do it? So they are telling me that, oh, I'm doing it because, oh, I know in my company, there may be an opening later. You know, when you want to become a manager, in any place of work, or you are applying for a manager position, they put that a master's degree MBA or MSc will be an additional advantage. You can put it. That if there's a manager put it, say you have to put it in clause. That if you have a master's degree, it will be an advantage. So they are telling me that, oh, because I know there will be an opening in my place of work, and when people are applying this may be a criteria, yes, I will say you are making sense. Am I complicated? I will say to you, yes, you are making sense. What has to That, oh, I'm already working. And I want to start this certification. I want to, I can't say I don't want to talk about the certification like 
several certifications. Up to the day of failure. Before I even started putting up to school for masters and all. So, and I have a reason. And that's, that's my point. So, so what's the point you are thinking? Don't do it because you want to just want to say, oh, you married God's school church. I just wanted to say, is there any chapter that comes up and is within me? Like, see me yourself. Prophecies was here. And used to say so, used to say to me, he bought, there's a chair, there's a table in this church. This was my sister that brought it. Yes, you don't know. He bought it. I don't, I don't know whether that table is here or anything. I don't know whether he's taking it out. He bought it when he was doing writing inside her. He will come to church, he will be reading, reading, and he fell asleep. And that table bought. He used to say that one another that table, we see one part part. I was not that that. And it was only really because they wanted to say, oh, the first chapter that after this church has to But it is it because he knew that he's going to be back in industry and he wants to rise in that industry. The reason was his personality. Not because one pastor Bible to come out and say, ah, now the chapter that happened is the church will do. But that one will not be too good. Am I committed? Praise God. So please, and again, second part is that even to understand the degrees you want to write. There are master's degree, there are different kinds of master's degree. And there are opposites. There are professional master's degree, there's academic master. People don't know. And I'm with people I know they don't know. They are master degrees that are professional and they are master degrees that are academics. They are master degrees that are become a lecturer, they are master degrees that you write. And those ones, they call it MSc, MA, MED. Now, good enough, academic master's degree can also be used in the place of work. I have, an, I have the MSc. Now, academic master's degree can also be used to work. You can also use it. No crime. And good part about it is that you can use it for work, you can use it for academics. You want to work. So if you are a Jew and your career is that all you have in mind is to become a lecturer, then you need those degrees. You need to go back to your MA, MED, or MSc. Because you need it. Now, if you are all about profession, you can do MLM, whatever. You can do MBA, Masters of Peace and Peace. MPA, Masters of Public Academy. So they are masters that are professional masters. They are also masters, but they are for the purpose of work. And when you hear MPA, MPA, there are a lot of them. A lot of them. Praise God. And there are also a lot of certifications that you can write. But my purpose is that my point is know why you are writing there, know where you need to apply there, what purpose, and know that in the back of your mind, the reason why you are adding there is to have more. Money, grow your career, enter new position, use it to scale, use it to scale up, make more money. I pray God will bless us in that yeah. And if you so the wish, you can go ahead to pay your money. It's possible you want to do. And I pray God will bless that. Is, that is if you are aspiring for directorship, you want to be a director, you want to be a consultant, you want to be a senior lecturer, you want to be post whatever. So you can get scale to start paying some of your science degree. Doctorates, post doctorates, and all of what we fail to just because you are preparing yourself. Praise the Lord. Now, very quickly, but again, I've made a point that the minimum requirement, worst case scenario, worst case scenario, is for you to have what? A false degree. Nobody will kill you if you have a higher degree. But we are just saying that when we are trying to grow, it may be very important for the purpose of growth. Praise God. Now, I want to talk about the standard synonymous to career or what relationship do they have? So, the standard synonymous to career or what relationship do they have? Praise God. So, when people have talent, hmm? is the talent the same as the career? That is what we want to look at. So, today, if I can see, hmm? but I see that happening. If I can sing, does that mean because I can sing, I should be a singer? I'm asking the question. No, let me see. I'm asking the question. So because I have the voice, eh? Does that mean I should become a singer? So that's what we want to know. So does that mean because I can play football very well? Does that necessarily mean that I should not become a footballer? So 
the last thing of the first time I was praying for. So what God wants me to do is to be to give the body. Am I communicating? That is a misconception that is happening. Oh, I can pray for everywhere. So everything I'm doing now is one and just one floor. I want to become a function. And because I can play guitar very well, so now, now I want to become an instrumentalist. It's opposite, you don't know. It's opposite, but well, that's a misconception. And there was a time I saw a video of military men, military men, military guys. They play instrumentalist more than some instrumentalists in the church. I know some people that work in the public. There's a lady in my office. She is the national fire minister of my church. She, she works in the public organization. She's a manager. She sings when she's she singing. In fact, there was a time she, she was singing at work. And she told me that she's a national fire She's a she 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 when she told me I said that man with you. She showed me videos of herself coordinating lines for the fire. So to show that it does not matter that because you have the talent, that talent does not mean that. So you can be good at these things and yet you can become a lawyer. I mean, I'm not complicated. And the will of God for your life is for you for you to become a lawyer. You can be an engineer. You can be a pastor. You can be an engineer. So, and so there's a need for us to understand what career is. Now, get it well. It is possible that God has given you talent to become what you want to do. Don't get me wrong. But I'm saying that it's not all cases. So get my point. God can give you talent. So I may be able to play a musical instrument. Oh yes, God may give me to put food on my table. But it's not in all cases. And I now begin to say, oh, and I say that. You see people go to school and because they can sing, they become to say they are singers. And that's what they want to do. And that's what they want to do now. And it's song, song, song. And it's not frustrating. But that may not be the will of That guy that can sing, God may say, will be a preacher. Am I communicating? That guy that can sing, the will of that guy really passes to the will of God. Do we not go for him for him for him? Why to be a preacher? Because I don't know. But because he can see, he sit on it, I can see. And the next thing I pass through is, I want to have a band. And, and the guy begins to sit and get to be there. And there's no one. So, not in all cases, yes, it may be that, oh, your talent is where God wants you to eat from. It is possible. But I'm saying that it is not in all cases. So there's a need for us to search what is God's plan for us. Praise God. So your talents may not necessarily lead to your career, but it may enhance or play a pivotal role. Your talents may not necessarily lead to your career, but it may enhance or play a pivotal role. It may help you to boost your career. The talents you have may help you to boost your career. Help you. It can only help you to boost what you want to do, but just not necessarily mean that that is what it's for. Praise God. Now, lastly, because of my time, I really want to rush. Uh, I really want to rush. So, how to see God's will? Now, lastly, how do we now see God's will? Seize required principles. We can take down. Number one, surrender your personal desire. Number one, how do you now see God's will? I do not seek God's way. So now, I have gone to school, I'm a young guy, I've done everything. Uh, so there are people that have said, but then how do I know what is the will of God? So the first thing is that they are watching time for me. I, 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 I know I want to rush. Praise God. So number one, number one, surrender your past, your own desire. The first thing is what? Lay it on the feet on the of God. Of God. Think, think that's possible. Your own very desire. Your own very, very desire. Lay it at the feet of God. 
should have first of all labor. What is your desire? What do I want? Lay it at the feet of God. Your desire. So, number one, whether my talent is one more, I'm not saying, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying your talent is not many people. Let that man say, I have a talent, then I will eat from no. Now, whether that talent is what you will eat from, find out from God. Whether it is not, find out. That's what I'm saying. So, you may end up finding out and discover that, oh, my talent is one more things. I should go ahead and eat. It's fine. But in case of cases, they not. Praise God. So, now, lay your desire at the feet of What is your desire? Ask God that for this thing that is my desire, is it exactly what you want from me? So, I mean, as, as you see God's will, it's important to be sure you are fully open to whatever God wants. If you have actually already decided what to do and are only coming to God so you can approve those things, then you are not really seeking his word. And this talks about, you know, I told them that I really want to be loaded in the psalm. Then in seeking God's will, they talk about permissive will and what? And what? Perfect. Perfect will. They cannot divert you to. So what is the will? You know, when you, what is the will that God permits you? There are some things that stir your desire. And you go to God to say, God, can me this. What is what is to go ahead? Which is not bad. But there are some way that even before your mother, your father, meets your father, your mother, God already knows that this is what you will become. That is the that is the, that is the perfect will for. And that is for everybody. That you will go do your turning, turning, turning. And what will have become? This is what God has said will be. That is the perfect way. If God says you will be a business person, perfect way. That is what He wants to be. And there will be way. If God wants you to be a career person, perfect way. And this is the kind of career that we do. Yes, there is a perfect way. Now, there is also a permissive way where you say God. And God is so nice that He allows you. Now, there is a permissive way to say God. And I love Jesus. I want this. I desire this. And God said, yes, but what? And my house. So, but the first thing is that find out from God what exactly you want. That your desire, bring it to Him, discuss it, and He will grant you help to do so. So, don't, so, so I've cleared that part. Now, number two, meditate on God's word. Most of the time, you find God's way for your life. When to meditate. I've seen God drop words in my mind to do certain things when I'm in the mood of meditation. We just have to everybody. But most times we don't hear God talk. That's the problem. Hmm? Many of times we wait for God to talk into our ears to say, Oh, morning. The big by the good big bar. Just go walk at that. Am I complicated? So God drops some words in your mind about your life, what you need to do if you are meditating in this world. Now, spend focus time in prayer. So, another thing that needs to be very clear. Need to be, I was so angry. Need to be very, 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 very prayer. Very, very prayer. Need to spend time in prayer, talk to God, then see God in prayer. Number four, Seek other people's advice. Proverbs 15 22. Seek other people. And this is very important. I'll talk a bit about this. Seek other people. So, see, there are people that are ahead of you. In choosing the career, there are people that are ahead of you. If you have a career in mind, don't, you see, don't do that mistake. Don't keep to yourself. If you have something in mind, you want to do. You want, you want to tell it. You see, in my list, I have a list of career over 25. A lot of things. A lot that I wrote. So, you know, in our mindset, we always think is doctor, lawyer, that each money. How many of us have heard about health and safety? They are health and safety. That's what they mean. Good money. Health and safety. People that will tell you that this is what you wear. You are going to this place. This is the kind of way you dress. So, I'm going to say that you know this one. They make companies pay them well. 
you are an elder safety professional. You know the kind of things you hear, where you need to go, you take them away. When our mind says only doctor, you know, lawyer, uh, that's what we are found out. They are operations people, they are project people. These are professionals, career, that are going to do certification and all. So there are a lot of them. So now my point is, seek advice, seek the people concept you on some of these career career opportunities. Now we can go to men of God to also counsel. Pray help you pray and they tell you what God says. I've seen a situation whereby somebody went to God for prayer and God told the best. Went to the man and the man of God told the best that you see the reason you will kill the first man. Eh? Just be saying anything that's in the water. Eh? You see all those things you have in the shop. You will be What cause this? Is that you say water. Oh, you know those things, what that? Who oh, else that is big with you? He said, you money. No, anything you do, just to say. But how many of us will do that? Still get it. How many of us? Praise God. So, seek people's advice, counseling, people that are ahead of us. And number five, consider your circumstance. Number five, I want to say this again, and I want us to hear it very well. For the fact, you know, we do this mistake, there's a misconception that we have. Most times that we do some things and it don't work out, we will say, God does not want us to, God does not want me to do it. Am I, are you with me? We do maybe you go for it and it don't do well. We will say, maybe God does not want me to be that. You know we have that mentality. Yes, at times it can be so, but at times it may not be so. At times God wants you to be paid for that room. You are not being paid anymore. And God will not allow you to do God will not allow you to get into that place. So it's not that there's anything evil that will happen. But because there's, there's a circumstance and there's a learning path that God is preparing you. So it's not that when this does not work, you think like, oh, something is wrong, and that. Praise God. So lastly, think through your decision logically. I want to end on this point. Like I said, I really wish I bet for two weeks, but my people said, no, we are doing it. It's fine. I'll run up. Now, think logically. You see, one of the mistakes we made is that. God has given us His Holy Spirit. And again, God has also given us wisdom. I read philosophy first. And when we talk about spiritual elements, spiritual element, reason is also spiritual. When I'm reason, you see my reason. When I'm reason, it's my own. You see that reason. So it's a spiritual element. Because in my reason, a lot of things comes out of me. So God has given you that reason to also think. Now, how do you do it? So apart from even going to prophet, going to this, going to that, or praying, now ask me. God has also given you the power of logic and reason. So what you want to do, what are the pros and the cons? If I do this career, what do I, what do I keep? If I don't do it, what do I keep? Or what do I do? You also have this reasoning part to think, to put critical thinking into what you are doing. It's a gift and a resource that God has given to you. Praise God. Praise God. It's a resource that God has also given to you. That oh, if I go into studying law, that is what I want. That is my career. What will I do? What? Let me imagine what can happen. Maybe. And you need to know that this is what can happen, this is what can happen. And you wait to of it. Praise God. Now, lastly, before I go to my, I want us to note that, and I'll drop the mic on this note. There's nothing, and I've said this everybody, I'll say it again, over and over again, that there's nothing in this life that you cannot become in. You believe in God and you put your mind into the Praise God. 
there's nothing. There's, there's no art in life that you cannot attain. Only if you put your mind to it, you believe in God for it, you trust God for it, you dedicate to it, and you push it. Praise God. I pray God will help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. Start today. Your wisdom will not depreciate. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, can we rise up on our feet? Our time is past spent. Hallelujah. Take your prayer within one minute. Amen. Are we together? Let me pray in one minute. Say, Oh God, my Father, show me the secret of my greatness. In the name of Jesus, oh pray about that. Oh pray about that. Pray, Oh God, my Father, show me the secret of my prayer of my greatness. Show me the secret of my greatness. Oh pray about it. Oh pray about it. Oh God, my Father, show me the secret of my success. Show me the secret. Oh my goodness, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Yeah. Only you can you shout this one loud and let's say, I receive divine wisdom to market my skills. Hallelujah. I receive, I cannot hear your voice, divine wisdom to market my skin in the name of Jesus. We put your mouth, Maseka Telia Basata, Elikra Baseta, Maseke Tenda Lika Polia Basata, Reke Tenda Lia Bakata. I receive divine wisdom to market my skin. Libra Katenda Mashata. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I have prayer I want to call at the last one, but this one is dropping to my mind. Amen. 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 Say, I receive the anointing. I receive the anointing. Say, I receive the anointing. I to be creative. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then I receive the anointing. Can you raise up your two hands up? Then I receive the anointing. To be creative. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Uh -huh. Let God breathe on you, on your spiritual mind. God breathe on me to be a good thinker. To be creative in nature. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let's celebrate Jesus for a wonderful Sunday like this. Especially the youth in the house. Can you celebrate Jesus in the light of Dr. Tuke? What he has done this morning? Let's sit down. You know what? He has done the work of consultants and he did pay him. We pray for you, Dr. Tuke. God of Emmanuel will pay you. Physically, he will pay you. Spiritually, he will pay you. Financially, he will pay you. And when you are finished paying you, you will pay your children. So shall it be for you in Jesus' name. Can we celebrate Jesus once again? Even though the time is fast spent, don't let us forget that on Tuesday, we are still going on with our revival. Mercy once again, by 9 o'clock to 11.30. Wednesday Bible studies, 6.30 till 8 o'clock. Thursday, all the good women should not forget the agreement within them. And Friday, dealing with seven bondages. The last part will come on this Friday. In case you've not been coming for the six that we have done in the past, so we are inviting you specially for this last one. And as you come, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. This 
this announcement is from the children's department for their children's day celebration. The poll roll for the baby is 1,005. The one for the teen is 2,000. For further information or clarification about this, can you see their teachers upstairs? They said they have sent forms out for people to please sponsor them. They need money. They need so many things. Please, 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 all our parents are still waiting. And as you do this, God of the man will bless you in Jesus' name. The usher should please wait after the second service. These are the chair people for today. Mrs. Obagu Favor, Master Samuel Samsi, Atoyebi, Miss Bisola Babatope, Dignes Yemisiba Namosi, Mr. Olamide Koisa, Mr. Raphael Mokelua, Mr. Shekou John, Miss Olumorobu Testimony, Mr. Joseph Akobi, and this are the one for next week by the special grace of God, Master Adekoya Ade, Adeko Wale, Miss Amo Otoluane, Mr. Jeremy Toga Samo, Mr. Adio Nitolako, Ms. Olaki Nosheo, Ms. Kola Wale Rachel, Ms. Onifade Oluwa Sukomi, Ms. Cindy Art Oluwa Shei Akore Sola, may the Lord bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. This wonderful announcement is for music school parents. This coming Saturday, they will be having their exam, and this start by 8 o'clock. We have a reason for saving care. Though we have tell all the children, but still we, still, we still want to inform all our parents so that they can get them ready. Please, we are begging all parents. All our students should be here by 8 o'clock on Saturday. They should not come late because they are going to do the exam for like one hour or one and a half hours. And immediately after this, we are going for excursion at the ball. So they should be well dressed. They should dress well. We have told them all this. But we still want to tell all our parents we are going out for discussion on Saturday at the ball. So we are begging all our parents, please, 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 and please let them dress well. Their hair they should be neatly torn. All the boys that their hair are bushy, they should go to the salon. Please and please and please and please. We are begging all our parents. Let them hands together as I invite Miss Dami and Mary for the next thing. We can do better. Praise God. Good morning, church. Good morning. And if I would like this morning, can we give a round of applause to God? Okay, quickly, I'm from the table of the youth. This coming Friday will be the monthly youth meeting. And I want to tell all the youth members, both the executive and all the youth members, to make themselves available at this meeting. A lot of things, a lot of other things are happening in the video. If you have not been attending that video, you'll be missing a lot. And uh, next week Sunday is our sports Sunday. And Sunday on usual. It's from the user department. And basically, um, I, I just came here to explain what sports Sunday is all about. You don't know if they are taking you to stadium. You don't know what will be happening on that Sunday. But I want to talk about the dressing for the Sunday. Uh, last week they said, come on, Jesse. But I want to expand it that to you. If you are a Jesse, if you are supporting this, if you really demand you are supporting it, you see this. Where is your Jesse if you have? Where is the thing you are supporting? If it's Nigeria, here. And um, if you don't have a Jesse, if you are a neutral person, I want to dress. You see my dress here. If you are supporting, if you are not a person, I want you to dress sharp or sporty. What I mean is that you can come in a wrap t-shirt, you can come in a gown like what I'm wearing. You can, I, okay, this come out. Quick with you. You can come the way it's dressed. Everything on jeans and a top. You can come in a t-shirt now. The idea is to look sharp. And for your footwear, I will that one. What you know, you cannot wear to run. Or you cannot wear to play football. Please don't wear it. I'm not saying you don't wear it. If you know you can run with your ears, so everybody, let's run from here to the next thing. If you know you are good with your heels, you are fine. So there is no, uh, I don't want us to be restricted to our dressing. But basically, the 
idea of what next week's Sunday is all about. And it's going to be a variety Sunday. Trust me, you have not seen anything like this. So if you have friends, you don't see me, who have not been to church, tell them that next week they have not seen anything. And let's tell you, the month of May is due to teaching from the first one from today to the end of May. So I want us all to make ourselves for confidence that God bless us in Jesus' name. Okay, and you tell me, please, I was so proud that I did everything after the first day. Don't go back to the next one. Thank you. Say something good to that time. Tell them to God as I'm dropping this. Bless the source of this time. Pray, pray, pray before you draw the feet. Lord, you bless the source of this time. As you are paying for your time, things will not be tight for you. May the Lord answer your prayers in the name of Jesus. Let's drop it and go back to our seat. All free time. Let all of us rise up on our feet. Let us rise up on our feet. With the act of appreciation this morning, we are going to bring our offering to the Lord. Let's raise it up and bless it. Thank you to God. Lord, as I'm dropping in this morning, bless me and God that me. This offering should open doors for me. This is the little we have brought out of multitude that you to me. Thank you to God. Let this offering open doors unto me. Bless me this week I'm going to. So by next week, my offering will be more than this. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And don't let us forget the lady box also. This box by the other side here is a lady box. So let's put something there for the lady. God bless us in Jesus' name.
youth, good women, all the ministers of God, we are inviting our mother in the Lord. Hmm. Are we ready to clap? Even 
is a very big deal at the moment. We give glory to the Lord. So thank you very much. And uh, from the table of uh, Dabov, Dabov was born yesterday. One year old yesterday. Yes, Dabov was one year old yesterday. And, and in order to celebrate the goodness of God upon that company, so we have invited all our children. Only the middle school children we invite. We did not invite any adults. No. Yes. No adult this time around. No adults. Only the middle school children are, are, are going to the ball next Saturday in the afternoon to celebrate the goodness of God of that ministry. This is a ministry. God has changed a lot of lives during one year. God has done so many things to us during one year of the ball. That place, that street number nine, that only street has been turned around. Only street is no more only street. And even the landlord association, they are thinking of changing that street to the ball street. The Bible says, let your light so shine and let men they will see the glory of God. We are light. As soon as we enter that street, we turn it around. That street has been turned around and God has given us a lot of land and land and land on that street now. So we give glory to God for what God is doing and uh, we invite all our children. The question that was announced is for our children they are going there to celebrate one year at the ball at in the afternoon so i want to open i want to open to pray for us that that i mean the god that has helped our father that has helped our mother we continue to help us this is a journey it's a very long journey marriage marriage is not something that you tip your hand and, and put it to it marriage is a long journey it's a, it's a long journey yes. and i pray for you who, that anybody that married here your marriage will never fail in jesus yes. god of our baba and our mama of the Bibles, god will save their marriage till they do them part they were together to the end and then you and your spouse will be together to the end in jesus name. Yes. And, I, and we use ourselves as a point of contact for those people who are looking for something painful like this we look we use ourselves as a point of contact for you, especially for the youth and for the people who are here that God that did our own will do your own in Jesus' name. Amen. You will find your own blood. Amen. You will find your own bone. Amen. You will never marry your enemy as a spouse. You will marry your friend. We, we have been friends for so many years. And we are still friends today. I will we are still friends today and we'll be friends in the day of the past. So please and don't go right now before we say the prayer. I mean I want us to pray for us that God in his infinite mercy should strengthen our people needs. This is a journey and this journey we will arrive at our destination safely. So please just stretch and stretch your hands to us and pray for us this morning. Whatever God has made in your mind. Please pray for this couple. Pray for them. Yes. Pray for them. We can do better. We can do better. Let's pray for them. Let's pray for them. As we invite our Father in the Lord, Reverend Bonifat Day, to pray for this couple and close today's service. Jesus. And I thank you, God, we thank you for the life of this couple. 
we appreciate you we this out and God said in the name of Jesus. We pray that there will be no separation among them in the name of Jesus. Give them the wisdom that the Spirit of God will walk in them in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, as you are laying your hands on them, not me, you are the one that has assigned them that call them. Father, Lord, that they have called them. Give them elder life to do your work in the name of Jesus. Let them be waxing stronger and stronger in you in the mighty name of Jesus. Your children will not die in Jesus' name. You will not die in your You will complete the job of God and give it to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Show that it is for you. And everybody that are saying Amen, God will give us their life. We will not die in your Our marriage will not be separated. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to the Lord. Thank you so much. Okay, can we rise up and close the service? As we close the service today, can you close your eyes and ask God as you are going on this week? Let this week be a Babylon week for you. Let this week be a wonderful week for you. Let this week be a week that you will need to remember for the rest of your life. Pray, 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 pray. We pray to the Yama Masha. Let this week be a marvelous week for you. Let this week be a wonderful week for you. This week, as I'm going out this week, this week shall, shall do something remarkable. Shall do something that will take me to, to come and give my testimony this week. As we are testimony to the, to the goodness of God, the goodness of God will be separated in your life. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Amen. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, I want to pray for the church this morning. Yeah, then the choir will sing. Everybody close your eyes. Our Heavenly Father will worship you this morning. Your son has delivered his word this morning. You have used him tremendously this morning. Lord, continue to strengthen his goodness in Jesus. As your children, they are going out this week. Let this week be a wonderful week for you in Jesus. Let this week be a marvelous week for you in Jesus. And I prophesy and declare this week that nothing missing, nothing broken shall be your portion this week in the mighty name of God. We will come back here next week and give your testimony. You will come back here next week with great manifestation. What God has promised in your life will manifest in your life in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Quiet. The golden night. And on Tuesday, we still have a, the seventh Tuesday that we are doing. This Tuesday is going to be very powerful. God has prepared His man of God that is going to minister. And the last one next week is going to be more powerful. We are expecting another man of God to be here next Tuesday. And on Sunday next week, we are expecting some other August visitors that are going to join us next week again to have me with this service. 
And as you go this morning, God will go with you. Let's share the grace and fellowship. Uh, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of the Lord and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Our anchor, please. Yes. I will rejoice in the Lord and I will rejoice in the God of my salvation. Shall we shout three power hallelujah for what has gone, for what God has done in this service this morning? Uh, I would have wished that this kind of lecture should be a dedicated, we have a dedicated day for it. This, the time is too small. This, the time you use is too small. It's too short. Many, many of our elders here, they are sleeping. They, yes, we need we needed it for our youth. Yes. We are going to, before the end of this year, God will help us. Yes. We are going to find the time. It was a very timely word from the throne. And we are going to find the time. Dr. Trudeau is coming back again. Yes. He's coming to give us a comprehensive lecture on that. Yes. And we are going to invite all the other people. They go place with doctor. They go increase your knowledge. Yes. Okay? Let's shout that three power hallelujah. One, two, go. Hallelujah. 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 Sunday school after this. Please don't forget to wait for Sunday school.